what is polygon law of vector addition in triangle law and parallelogram law we saw there we dealt with only two vectors but what will happen if we dealt with three vectors or four vectors or many more vectors let this be a vector b c and d vectors now using triangle law and parallelogram law we cannot directly find the resultant of this these vectors so what we do so what we do here we draw vector a then we continue with vector b in the same order then we draw c vector in same order and we draw d vector in same order this vector a and this vector a are equal vectors they might look bigger or smaller in size but they are proportional so this length and this length represents the same magnitude so is the cases with vector b c and d so v and this vector this vector and this vector are equal vectors because their direction are same and their magnitude is same as well here c vector represents this vector d vector represents this vector so what will be the resultant of these vectors in order to find the resultant of these vectors we use polygon law well polygon laws are based on triangle law or parallelogram law in order to find the resultant what we have done these vectors are plotted in the same order being anti clockwise so the closing end in opposite order is the resultant of these vectors let's see here if a and b vectors are represented in same order then by triangle law this is the resultant vector which will be equal to vector a plus vector b so we know vector r1 is equal to a plus b now if this is r1 and this is c1 sorry c these are in same order then this vector in opposite order is the resultant of r1 and c so r2 is equal to r1 plus c vector now again if this vector r2 and vector d are represented in same order then the resultant vector will be in opposite order represented by vector r so r will be equal to r2 plus d we know resultant from here is equal to r2 plus d r is equal to we know r2 is equal to r1 plus c vector r1 plus c vector plus d vector again we know r1 is equal to vector a plus vector b so resultant is equal to a vector plus b vector plus c vector plus d vector in this way we can find the resultant of these vectors acting simultaneously on the same body